And um, he came to fight, do great things, to move city shops, and it was enough. It was enough. Um, I really did have him win it, Javante Davis. Um, the guy came in. You know, he landed real good shots. He got some rounds in. But a lot of those rounds, Javante Davis was picking them from the outside, um, moving, turning them on the other side, use the jab, use the right hand. And, uh, you know, we see what happened. And um, the guy was, he was having this moment in spurts, but most of the time in the, that fight, Javante Davis was outsmarting him. He was moving, slipping. He slipped a lot of those blows, a real lot of them. And a lot of them landed, too. I'm like, I like it. But down the line, he was just tissing out with the jab, putting those hooks, uppercuts, uh, combinations on him. Then straight right hand, you know, straight, straight down the middle. You know, I had him breaking him down like that. And that's how I had um, John Van Tate Davis, no doubt about it, winning. And, um, you know, you know, you know, I think it was, um, um I know John Van Tate Davis won, but like I said, the decision, um, it can be a little bit closer. It don't really matter. Um, 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 but still get a man just do. But, you know, me looking at it, I, yeah, I definitely had him win in the fight. Uh, beautiful footwork, beautiful slipping, beautiful hook combination. I mean, very powerful blows. That boy was, he was bullying him round eight. And uh, nine, bullying him uh, pretty good. The boy tried to fight back. Javante Davis, three foes. And, you know, and the boy came back with some body body. But after that, uh, Javante Davis started moving around. Just started ticking off with no big straight right hand hook combination. And so to the body. And uh, the majority of the work was landed clean by Javante Davis. That's your breakdown.